We, Amanda, I am so thrilled that you said yes to my last minute invitation. I, when I reached out to you on uh, Instagram, it was over uh, me finding this resource that you created for the coronavirus. And I found this video on YouTube with this lady I, reading your story, reading your coronavirus story out loud. Wow. And I, I have to think of the link. And I'm like, okay, so I think this person reading the story is not who wrote the story. My images yeah. are in there. Let me look. And so it said your name. So I went on our database to find who made this because it was such an awesome resource. Oh, and, and well, that's because the smarty symbol. That's why it's good. And so I go there and I'm like, okay, I can see, I can find her. And it said you had your website there. And so I messaged her on Instagram. And I think we spent, I don't know, 30 minutes talking and I'm like, okay, we need to do this via a oh, video nice. so that we can talk to people. So thank you for kind of saying yes to this. I know that you are not um, used to this. This is your very first no, time. I'm, I'm super shy, like super shy. <laughs> and we are far away, so far away. We're in different sides of the world. So if Where you are you? Like, I'm in Ireland. Yes. Yeah, so I'm in Dallas, Texas in the U.S. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, you told me, yeah. Yeah, but I'm from Brazil. Um, oh really? Yes. I didn't um, know that. It's kind of nice how people, you know, they have different backgrounds. We all come together in the end because we're trying to have our own kids. But I'd yeah. love to hear and learn more about you. Because you're doing Be some supporting for parents. Tell me about all of this. Um, before, I have four kids now. I have Haley, Connor, Jack, and Max. My three sons are all autistic. And Connor, my oldest son, he is ten. Uh, he's nonverbal. And my youngest son, Max, he is two. He's nonverbal. So the only so I have that can talk is Jack. But before I had Connor, I was training to become a solicitor, which would be a lawyer, I suppose, in America. And once Connor was born, his needs were kind of so severe, I, I couldn't finish my, my, I suppose, my career. It kind of ended, essentially, because he just needed so much help. At, kind of at the time, going back, that's like 10 years ago now, we would have been told that he would have had one of the most severe cases of autism. And I don't want to say it negatively, but he had such severe behaviours and he just found everything so challenging that our whole life just like that Will Smith song got flipped, turned right upside down and we didn't know what we were doing. And in Ireland at the time, there wasn't like the support network like there is now online, like online is amazing because 10 years ago there was, there might've been Facebook or Instagram, but nobody, like if there was, I didn't know about it. So it was very isolating. And then as the years went by, um, I suppose I still had academic skills. And when my second son was diagnosed, then I decided I might try and help other people because I'd been through so much with my oldest son. And that's kind of how I started doing things online then, was helping other people. And just even, I found out about Smarty Symbols and they helped my son so much and just helped him communicate. Like we, we have like a communication folder and it's full of Smarty Symbols. And like he'll say, I love you mom with the symbols. And I'm just like, you know, when they can't express it verbally, yeah. but they can't, it just, it changed our world. And that's thanks to Smarty Symbols. So it changed kind of the world. That's kind uh -huh. of where I am now. Just kind of life went on and, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but we owe a lot to Smarty Symbols. They helped our little boy, especially. So thank you. It's, we all have our little talents, right? Um, meeting people like you is really what drives me personally. And I think drives the whole community of people who are creating resources, especially now with yeah. this pandemic um, yeah, happening. Really. What is it like in Ireland for services for your children? Um, there's not really many services, not really. You're kind of, um, if you get services, you're considered lucky. That's kind of the, the, the way it is. If you're not working or if you can't financially afford it, your, your kids essentially will be left on waiting lists. And I don't want to say that negatively, but that is just the way it is. So you're really left to do what you can for yourself, for your family. And for a lot of people, you know, they might find it overwhelming and they're not able to do that. So for a lot of people, it's just, it's, it's a devastation because you can't financially provide the resources or the services yourself. And there are no services really to speak of. You're on waiting list. And, and if you do get services, you're lucky, you know. But ourselves, like we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been able to um, really financially afford a lot of services, being honest, because with three boys on the spectrum, it would be very, very expensive. So you had to kind of learn a lot yourself. But just like through Instagram, I would, I would have met a lot of therapists and teachers. And that's really helped me because I could ask them questions and they're really super, super supportive. And they'll come back and say, try this, try that, you know? So I'm very lucky to be online. That's what I think. You meet no more than meeting you, you meet so many wonderful people. It's really interesting because we feel really isolated as parents. You know, I have a yeah. child on the spectrum too. You know, right now we're in the middle of discussing services for my son that they want to get services removed from him. And so it's, I you know I'm right now in my own panic mode. 
but it's it's just so amazing every time I interact with with the parents just to see how much we can provide our own resources and we become really resourceful in finding things online to support our own kids. How nice it's you being a speech therapist, yeah. Yeah, so as a speech therapist, you know, you'd think that I have all these resources and I, I have all this knowledge from my, you know, from my career to help my own kids, but still it does take a village, right? It takes yeah. a lot of people, people who create the resources, people who know about how to utilize them so that we can learn more. Even the fact that we like hanging out here, making this video so that other parents can listen and, and take charge of their own child's growth. Um, yeah, and progress. Because I, what I've come to realize is that parents are just, we do whatever it takes, right? To help our kids. Yeah. Uh, we create the resource, we find what it, what it is that they need and we just, we just make it happen. I saw, I want to go back to our, to your COVID-19 resource. Yeah. How, how did you put that together? Because I imagine you had to go, tell me about that resource and what prompted you and how you kind of made it all happen. Being honest, I'm not really that good with tech at all, as you can probably tell. So I just did it through PowerPoint and Word document. But then I realized on the Smarty Symbol website from chatting to you, there's this whole other section that I've never really explored properly. The, you know, the printing center. So that's, yeah. that's a new thing to me. But the coronavirus uh, social story just came about that uh, for my own kids, because there was talk at the time that the schools might close. And I was, because especially for my middle son, Jack, he'd be very anxious. And I know a lot of kiddies like him that have autism. So I thought, well, if I create this resource, it might hopefully help some people like my own kids, because I know what it's like, um, I suppose, to struggle. And then in this kind of pandemic, it was about, you know, essentially what was about to happen for everybody's kids and everybody's family. So that, that's just kind of, I just created it. But what I didn't realize then was you were going to have all these amazing images more coming up onto the website that you showed me the other day. I was like, oh my God, these are just so, but they're so modern and so up to date. And do you know what I mean? They're really, and they're really purposeful. They're exactly what everyone needs right now. That's what I think anyway. I think well, thanks for that. I was trying to find, look oh, at this. Yeah. Feel unwell. Had you seen this before? No, I haven't, no. So if you type in on YouTube later, COVID-19 Smarty Symbols, this is another one I found, but your resource is everywhere. Is it really? So there was the other one that I saw, it was some, you know, another lady reading, there was all these, uh, Disney characters in the background and your resource printed out with her reading it. And this is another one I just found. Are you serious? Yes. No, but well done to Smarty Symbols because I, could, I can't draw to save my life and I definitely can't digitally draw. So if I had to do that myself, you know, wouldn't have helped anybody. They'd be like, what is this? You know, so oh, come here down it is. To here it is. Look at this. This is what prompted me to contact you. Look at hey this. Friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace Joy, otherwise known to my students as Mrs. Stevens. COVID-19. So she will read the whole thing that she wrote. Isn't this mind blowing? And you know what, the, the social story I had created, that would have been the original. And then I was editing it because different people contacted me and said, oh, could I include more people of color and then just make it more diverse. So I went back to Smarty Symbols. And of course he had exactly what I needed and I added in updated. So this would have been probably the original one, I think. So that's one. I have like the one here. Yeah, that's the original, if you can see it. That's the very first one I made. And then different yeah. people like just were emailing me saying, oh, could you add this in? Or there was an extra page at the end added in by a family saying, oh, could you add in saying, oh, we can't do our favorite activities right now. So that was added in. That's actually amazing. It, it is the power of the internet, right? It's, you have these people that somebody in Ireland creates this resource for her kid. Then other people, other teachers are like using this. And, you this know, I created amazing. the images, he created the content. And here we are talking about all of this kind of in retrospective. Um, I love this. This is just it's a, really but it's cool. a collaboration though, isn't it? And do you know what I think is nice? It's a collaboration of two parents that have children on the spectrum. That's what I like about it. Yeah. And I didn't even realize that, you know, at the time. I just thought, oh, I'll help other parents like me that are know this whole crazy world is about to happen and frighten our children, you know. I didn't see this. This is amazing. I've never seen any of these. Yeah. And I'll 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 send you the link and I'm also gonna post some Thank of these you. links here because I imagine, so these people, these teachers, they read your story to their students in a digital format, which is amazing, right? Um, I know my son, he, if I let him, he would spend the whole day just vegging out the videos on YouTube. Yeah, that's like <laughs> And the area. silliest ones. Um, but at least so this, this is like a, a form of reassurance for parents and children, you know? And that's the thing I like about Smarty Symbols. Like they're actually, they're, they are effective, but they're really friendly too, aren't they? They're not, 
you know, I just like them. And that's even my son's school. They will often say to me, oh, what symbols do you use on the textbook? And I'll say, oh, they're smarty symbols. And they're like, how do you get that? And then I obviously share the link to the website. And they're like, yeah, because the, the other kids, in the, in the, he goes to an autism unit, would see the resources. And they would say, oh, the other kids really like them. Because some of the symbols on, I suppose, different systems, that they might not like them as much, but they really like smarty symbols. So well done again. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to give some people a little, back, a little bit of background. So I created this website called Smarty Symbols. And it was a place for people to come and create resources with the images that we had, that we have available. And we, you know, we tried to create illustrations as they are needed for new vocabulary. So that helps kids with kind of that visual information for vocabulary. Giving them vocabulary in a visual format really helps under, for them to understand the concept of it, whatever it is that we are teaching, right? And yeah. we talked yesterday about super spreader. Yeah. Um, you know, these people who are That's spreading your viruses to other students, I mean, to other people. This also helps reduce a lot of the anxiety of all this unknown, right? All of this is so new for these kids being locked in their homes. And social stories really do a great job at kind of taking down this anxiety. My son has a lot of anxiety over all these yeah. unknown things. So then I created a social story and you said that you, that you come here, you know, I, this is one of my favorite ones of the new batch, Patient Zero. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I hadn't seen any of these till I was chatting to you because I, I only pop on and on. And you see, I don't think I fully realized how much there was on the website. I knew there was the images, which I would just download. And it was just, it was a lot of work to download and put all the things together. And then you uh, pointed out like the printing center to me. And I was like, how have I not seen this or used this? And I was trying to use it today and use it last night. And I was like, this would have made everything so much easier. Like, I, And it's just, and you've all the, oh, never mind. I'll let you explain. I just thought it was amazing. I love hearing hearing your reaction how yeah, you, seem, you seem really interested and super amazed at this uh, in and all yeah, I, I here. yeah the way I was doing it was just taking me so long and you know it was just I think though it's because I'm not really tech savvy that's probably why as well but for parents like me or parents that would have even less knowledge than me the printing center is excellent here in the printing center people can create the materials without having to download the image outside so last week I created a social story and you know, when people get access to the system, which we now have 30 days free access from the coronavirus, so anybody who wants to create resources for 30 oh, days, you can come in for free. And all they have to do is cancel before the 30 days, you're not charged anything. I really think parents right now need resources for their home. Yeah. Um, and so Absolutely. I created my own social stories here. If I go to my archives, I had a few that I created. So I started with this, my feelings wow. during the coronavirus outbreak. Oh, wow. And are these just on your own archive or is they, can anybody access those? Yeah, so anybody, so I save this publicly. Anybody can access this. Let me oh, wow. do here. So it says I've been, had, I've been hearing a lot about the coronavirus. It makes me feel scared. My school's closed and I miss my friends. I have That's to practice really social distancing. This is all temporary and soon I'll go back to normal routine. And the fun thing here is that all, these, all it takes, if you want to delete this image, you can come here, search a new image, I'm going to put on my glasses because I'm so blind. Hold on. You just drag and drop a new image in the place. Wow. You ungroup anything. You can put your image there. You can delete. It's so easy text. to use, isn't it? Yep. And you just delete text or change the text. And can you duplicate on this? Like duplicate yes. images so, or. Yeah. So let's say if you go here to the community, these is all the different activities that people have done in the past. Like this is all from the 16th and the 17th, right? So yeah. every time you open, so let's say you want to use this here, ways to stay safe. Once you open this, it, the system creates a copy for yourself. Okay. So then you can modify this however you want. And, you know, if you want to change, for example, something, I'm going to do something simple here, like change the color of the background or add a new image. You just do a search this there. Wild. It's so like compared to the way I do it, like what takes me hours. This is so much nicer and easier. And the image is there. You just drag and drop the text. If you drag it inside the square, the text comes with it. And you can just double click and edit your own text. Wow. If, you know, I can make it a little bigger so that people can see it better. And then once it, you're ready, you can just download here, it becomes a PDF. And it's a PDF file with all the different pages. Let me move my face here out of the way. You see here, um, I think this document has like 10 pages or something. 
Let's wow. just download it. So let let's open it. I like that the lady's like you know loading. I think that's really cool. <laughs> it's a, look at this resource. It's like a PDF file that we just downloaded and created directly on the website. And it's a PDF file with all the different That's pages. a million times easier than the way I've been doing it. And I'd be like pulling my hair out, trying to figure out how, you know, and then you're downloading the image and then you're trying to transfer where everything is just so easy here on the screen, you know? Yeah. And it has like these templates that you yeah, just- That's what I was looking at today. That you just drag and drop. So let's yeah. say I want to create a new thing here. I'm going to, I can add a new page. So I have a new blank page here. And he, you know, some things that I've been doing recently is kind of in this comics area. Ooh, I like this. Uh, there's also writing. So opinion so writing. Templates. Yeah, and it's like, would you rather sleep or eat, right? And they can talk about. Wow. You're so creative. Oh, thank you. It's I really just like the image there of like the immuno what's the immuno compromise that's such a good image isn't it yes um but like for our visual learners that's what they need it takes thinking of you know i go look up at the definition i look at various different images online and try to come up yeah. with a concept that makes it easy right to understand yeah. you're so but you're so creative because i wouldn't have thought like when i created that resource that was just before the whole pandemic start officially started we'd say and now when you were telling me about your new images i was like oh my god i want to update the resource so everybody sees all these fabulous images and but even, like i can only say for my own kids because they're on the spectrum but like my daughter isn't on the spectrum and she really learns a lot from the images as well like so really it helps all children i think and people of all abilities it's very visual which is what you want absolutely with it being so visual i think one thing that we forget a lot of things that we're putting in place for people with disability, like mm. closed captions, really benefits yeah. everybody. Right? Yes, definitely. We all prefer being at an airport and see the sign, sign to go to the restroom than trying to read the whole word mm. restroom, right? Yes. We all need visuals. And I think um, some need more than others, but I think we all help. It helps everybody we with all rely on the concept. Them. Yeah. I think you're amazing. The more of your resources I see, I'm like, how did I not know about the printing center? Even that there, I'm like, I could do so many things with that instead of me like, oh, trying so hard to do it on PowerPoint and go, and like, oh, Jesus, if I had been using this, my life would be a lot easier, a lot sooner. I know what I'd be doing anymore. Yeah, but you have been using this for some time. Yeah, I just didn't know. Like, I, that's, what, that's what I say to you, I'm not very tech savvy. Like, I just assumed that was like, you can press print, that would just tell you. But now that I've gone and explored it, I'm like, why didn't I, why didn't I look sooner? Why didn't I do, even there was um, one of the images there, I think it's under elements. It was like a circular thing. It was like arrows. You probably know what I'm on about. I was like, I could have used that. And I was trying to make a circle on PowerPoint and it was a disaster. And I was just like, I give up. And it was just there all this time. Amazing. Amanda. Um, so I, I'd love to hear, so did you ever create any other resources before the coronavirus one that it's like gone viral? um not really no that was i think it was just this came out at the time that it was just everybody needed it and I, I think that's probably why because again i'm not that creative being honest but i think that was really it but i've often seen on teachers pay teachers like lots of things that i would buy on teachers pay teachers from like big like i think this breezy special ed i think that's what she's called or I, wonder, yeah, like, yeah. I, don't know. I think that's her like her resources have smarty symbols i think that's where i first learned about smarty symbols years ago where i had bought resources from tpt and i was like i really like those images Little did I know I'd meet the creator one day. Um, but <laughs> I was just so impressed with them. And then I was like, gosh, I have to use them. And then I just, all I would do is like make little images for my own kids in the, their textbooks or their um, communication folders. But I just always remember the teacher said to me, oh, where did you get those? And I was like, it's smart. She said, she was, oh, I must ask the school about, you know, getting that kind of system for the school. Because she said that the other children that were autistic in the classroom, they really liked the images. So she was like, they're just really calm and friendly. And, you know, child, you know, kids can relate to what they see. So yeah. well done again to you. You're so, you're so kind. No, but it's the truth. It's just, it's not, it, it is kind, but it's the truth. It's fact. It's, it's the facts. So thank you. Well done. I just can't like, this is like your brainchild and it's just helped so many people all over the world and so many children and adults and people of all abilities. Like it's actually amazing. I hope you realize how amazing you are. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, um, you know, I don't even know what to say. You got me speechless here because I love what I do and 
I'm really fortunate. Your work. It, it's, it's, I'm really fortunate to be able to have a work that helps people and helps my own child. And mm. it, it's like this perfect marriage, right? And when I meet people like you who are really taking charge of this learning, it, it, it's, it's really humbling. So thank you for giving me your time today. And yeah, I, I have to. But well, listen, um, I have to thank you because you've helped my boys. Like you probably don't even realize how much, especially my older son, Connor, you've helped him so much. And like, I've never, didn't think I'd ever meet the lady that created these amazing symbols that we've been using in his resources. And now I meet the lady that's behind all this. I just think you helped a little boy called Connor in Ireland. So thank you for the last, gosh, what age is he? He's 10. So for the last number of years in particular, when he's been using his resources, so it's down to you. When I was you know, looking for, who is this Amanda that it has this viral coronavirus resource everywhere? And I was looking, you know, I think you signed up for like 2016. So you've been there for oh, quite yeah. some time. That was my married name, you see. Yeah, Golden is my married name. Uh-huh. Um, do you, uh, what's your website like? What, do you have resources? What are, what's that um, website for? Yeah, well, I was hoping to start a business in just like as a consultant helping parents. But again, the pandemic started, so that's kind of slowed everything down for me again. But that's what I'd like to do, or eventually I'd like to do, like resources on TPT and create resources that are helpful that, no more than you, you know what works for your son. So I suppose from my perspective, what works for mine. So that'd be something I'd like to do down the line. Make I mean, there is, that... there is a huge need for that, and especially now. Um, yeah. I think not only you creating resources for other families, but also giving families um, tips on how to help their own kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's super valuable, but yeah. I know I just kind of finished that one project and I, after interviewing a hundred people within kind of the special needs ecosystem, I talked to a lot of parents, yeah. um, it, nothing relating to visual support specifically. It was uh, something about how children with autism have difficulty understanding speech when it's noisy. Yeah. Um, that's interesting actually, but for me, what came out of, out of all of these interviews is that parents have the same thing in common, which is the feeling that they want to do more for their kids, that whatever services they have is not enough. Um, and this is, where, this is where you come in, or this is where I come in, right? Yeah. Using our talents and even our experience with our own kids to help other people who are just starting their journey. Um, so I can, if I can tell you one thing, and maybe I would have said the same thing two months ago before my interviews. Might now I can tell you with data, there is a huge need for what you really? want to do. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Well, do you know what, though? I think that in the future, I think I'll be coming back to you asking your opinions and your ideas because to me, you're the expert. Like you've created these amazing symbols that have helped children all over the world. And you have the first hand experience as the parent of a child on the spectrum. Like you can't get better. I, I feel anyway, you can't get better, I suppose, advice or support than from a parent that's been through it and, and you know, walks in, walks the road you're walking, you know. And then you have obviously the absolute genius of smarty symbols as well. But again, you have that first hand knowledge and know how important it is to have the right visual supports in place. Absolutely. So I would definitely be coming back to you for tips and tricks and say, what do you think of this? What do you think? Will this work? Yeah, and you'll I, say, I, no. I think I'm just starting my journey. My son is just six, but oh. I'm here for you. And um, oh. yeah, we so connected and, um, and I'm sure we're going to be finding ways to collaborate. I have a feeling we will. And anything I can support you in, I will, because as I say, you don't realize the impact Smarty Symbols has had on Connor's life, my oldest son in particular. The smarty symbols have taught him with toileting, with how to make his own cereal, loads of things that have made him more independent. And just even for him to be able to use his I love you, mammy, like that's down to you. So I owe you the thank you. A massive thank you for that. Thank you so much, Amanda, for sharing that with me. Um, I, we could stay talking forever, Amanda. Yeah, I are super easy to talk to. You. Do you know what? Have, do you ever think of writing a book? Because I think if you wrote that story of what you've done in your life and like the amount of people you've helped, like thousands i'm sure millions of people in, in reality like i think you have a book that you need to write whenever you stop yeah. creating all these crazy resources <laughs> you know it well, must be like don't write a book i never see you <laughs> <laughs> oh amazing oh, man, amazing yeah. amazing um, i don't say that lightly genuinely i'm in awe and i'm inspired and i'm just like wow i can't do anything and you're like oh i've done this and i've created this thing that's helped all these people and and i'm doing this and i'm like what i i don't do anything like like this you're amazing 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 no i'm in awe 
no, you, you are the amazing one here. And, you know, I, I could say that I, that was my profession, right? So I went into, because I wanted to help people communicate better. Yeah. And that's yeah. The and to evolve and then to come down many years down the line and create a communication system yourself, essentially. Yeah. But in the, did you feel that, that vulnerability that you could understand the need to be yeah. able to communicate when others can't understand you? You have that innate experience that not everybody will have. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Having to, and this is what, what our children feel on a daily basis. It, and it, so it takes a lot of guidance, a lot of support. And I see that this is where we come, you know, as yes. parents, right? We are with our child all the time, every day. And, and I feel like if we can empower, when parents feel empowered to help their kids, yeah, absolutely. this is where the big change is, yes. takes place. Um, yeah. I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what it is. It, that's why I really do appreciate being online now, because as I say, when Connor was born, oh gosh, it was such a lonely time because there wasn't really, and I know in America there probably was, but 10 years ago in Ireland, there wasn't really much of anything online. You know, it was back in the dial up internet. I don't know. Do you, did you ever experience oh, yeah. that? Yeah. I did a lot of dial up. That, that was the internet. Like everybody has a phone now, but like back then we had like the phones with just the buttons and, and that's all it did, you know? So it was really isolating. And that's why now being online and, and like, when will I ever say that I met this amazing, talented, as I would say, superstar from Dallas, when would I have ever imagined 10 years ago I was going to meet this uber famous creative amazing lady that one day will write a book that I'm going to buy you know that kind of way and her husband would be like stop talking about the book but you know what I mean like 10 years ago I could imagine that in 10 years time I sit down and talk to this wonderful lady that has helped my own family so much but helped all these other families around the world so well done to you thank I'm you very thankful I got to meet you I actually stunned <laughs> I got to meet the lady <laughs> behind Smarty Simple so crazy like you're the one who's famous now with your with your viral coronavirus. No, I'm not because I'm the shyest person. Because if anybody, even the fact I'm doing this, I messaged my friend. I was like, oh my God, I have to do something called a Zoom. I don't know. She was like, do it. It'd be nice to talk. I was like, I'm so nervous because I don't know. Yeah, I'm there's shy. a lot of moms in Ireland who's going to probably find this video and reach out to you asking oh. for it. I am going to um, let you go back to your family. I spent a lot, I spend the whole day here on the computer just doing, um, actually Work. writing, yeah. writing things for advocacy for my son. Oh, uh, for his you're amazing. He gets for, so he can get the services for when. Do you find it hard to have to fight all the time for him or no? Or how do you feel about that? You no, know, uh, I've never had to. This was, this okay. is the very first time that I'm having to. Okay. Um, it's so awful. Yeah, it is because really, it's really difficult. Um, and people would imagine that, it, you know, if, you kind of it's are. not it's not very easy to be a hard person to say look he needs these things it's i find that very difficult myself yeah um i'm sure if you've never experienced it then it, it's doubly d it's d difficult because you're used to having that kind of he gets what he's ne he needs and, and rightfully so and now to see that someone th is thinking of pulling those services it's shocking like and yeah. then you, you have to you're kind of vulnerable again because this is a new experience and you're trying to find the right way to go about it Absolutely. It's very difficult yeah no it is it is difficult and it's about you know going back to you know, finding the resources, finding the justification. Yeah. It's a process, right? So we've been on this process for more than five hours already in different meetings. Oh God, um, exhausting. And, and trying to do the right thing by our children is, is our job, right? So I'm not doing 100%. anything beyond my job. Um, I do think in general, parents do need to come together to yeah. uh, change the system because this is the means. It won't change otherwise. Work. It, we've accomplished a lot, right? If you look back in history, but for us living right now, we don't care about history. We care about right now. Somebody yeah, else. just coping right in the moment. Right. hundred mm, percent. Um, yeah. And so I, as I'm going through this myself right now, um, I see that it, it takes us talking. It takes us informing parents. It, it, it takes a village and yeah. in a village that has no barriers to you know, reaches Ireland and reaches Brazil. Yeah. Brazil. The bog in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, it's so lovely to talk to you. And like, I genuinely appreciate it because I can only imagine how busy you are. But it's a total honor as well. Like a total honor. Thank you so much, Amanda. Um, I'm here for you. If, if ever you want to come hop on the Zoom again and talk to me, just let well, me know. Now that I know how to use it, I, yeah, I feel safe talking to you because at least I'd be like, you know what to do because I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> Have a good so night, much. Amanda. You as well. You as well. Listen, thank you. And say hi to your family for me as well. You too. Bye. Thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.